Hey gamers and welcome back to my let's play of Lego Marvel Adventures and today we continue with more free roam Let's go Wind powers activate Whoops Such a busy city that never seems to change. My goodness, are you everywhere or what? Getting around a big city like this can be a little stressful at times, especially these days with giant green monsters rampaging down the streets in what is essentially their underwear. But it wasn't always like this. It has to get pants, but whatever. Come on. Is that Mr. Jarvis? You'd think you could trust someone to show up to their own secret meeting. I can't wait any longer. I should get to the SSR. I mean, the phone company. Right away. Could I trouble you for a lift, please? Oh, wait. I have to drive you? <sighs> Oi! Pull over! Do you have an old timey cars? Not very good. The steering is just so stiff. Knew that was gonna happen. Avengers Tower, why are we? Thank you for your assistance. Your driving skills leave a lot to be desired, but you got me here, so that's a start. Hey, leave me alone. My driving skills are fine. Uh, telephones to attend to. Cheerio. <laughs> so another cat character. Some shawarma while you're out. Maybe some mac and cheese or falafel or hold up. Criminal activity detected nearby. Uh. Got reports of a high speed chase in progress. First one is bumping off the road. Sweet news. I just punched it. Run into a certain Asgardian mischief maker. Nice work. Stupid stairs, a lot of things. The city is so beautiful. Well, the top side at least. When Howard Stark's inventions were stolen, Mr. Jarvis and I had to retrace the culprit's escape route through the sewers. It wasn't exactly pleasant, so you can imagine my reluctance to go back a second time. Are we going to the sewers? Because if we are... Mr. Jarvis, now where's he gone to? Honestly, of all the places to lose your car keys... Wait, perhaps there's a way I can retrieve them without having to go back into those wretched sewers. 
You there? Fancy a spot of fishing? Um, no, not really. Come on, push! Why won't let me push? Ah! What? No! Ah! What am I to do? Ah! Fine, whatever. You're not going to touch them, are you? Wait until I tell that Mr. Jarvis. You'd think someone with access to Howard Stark's money would just buy another car. Oh, well, thank you for your help. I would. You saved me a bar and several bars of diamond toilet soap. Light speed. Is that not a speedster? Let's find out. Yep. Hell of a one too. Incoming crime report. Looks like a possible robbery. Reminds me of when that guy stole a priceless gem and then just put it on a glove. I mean, who does that? For the last time, I said Thanos. Speeding through the city. Ah, got caught on that thing. I really think they should bring Spider-Man into this game. I mean, he's in the- whoa, she can fly as well? Did not see that coming. Well, I see they managed to rebuild the old place. I probably shouldn't say too much, but I came here once, years ago. I was investigating something for a friend of mine, and the trail led me here. Cool. I can fly and run fast. Be too much of a problem. I mean, as long as there isn't a team of heavily armed security guards inside. How do I get the feeling I'm going to regret saying that out loud? <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Well, I guess I did. You dare take me on? I can run fast and fly! <laughs> Who's next? Ha! Keep going, come on, keep at me! I'll take you on any day. <laughs> well, I can create a shield as well. Is there nothing she can't do? Try and get me now. Ha. Huh? Ha, ha. Where's the other guy? Good work. I'm free to search for clues now, so you'd better get out when you've got the chance. Oh, don't worry about me. It's hardly likely that things might spiral out of control and result in the destruction of the entire facility. Oh, why do I have to keep setting myself up like that? Yeah, that's never a good idea. I'm Man Mark. I didn't actually see. And this one can't fly. 
What you see you? Oh god, it's one, thank you. Time to relax more petty cara. Peg Peggy Cara. Angie, you were always meant for great things. My friend Angie was finding life as an aspiring actress rather difficult, so when she told me she was auditioning for a role in a small play, I felt I should be there for her. I have to give you another ride. Glad I managed to avoid having to take lunch orders for once. Now I can use my break to go and meet Angie at. Wait, is that the time? Already? You won't be able to give me a lift by any chance, would you? Oh, of course I do. Wow! One day I want to be able to take people's cars for... Yeah, no, that would be so cool. Unfortunately, if you did end the life, you get arrested. Don't do it at home, kids. Hey, what's the rush? The rush is still going to get this lady to the play. I know, right? Useless. Ah, can't fly. Uh, I think this cow's gonna move. Can I make it? No, I won't. Ah! Still catch him. I don't want to catch him. Ah! Seriously. We're on the drive. Controls are so stiff. Okay, this cow's gonna move. Ah! I can't. Ugh. Glad I managed to avoid having to take lunch orders for once. Now I can use my break to go and meet Angie at... Is that the time? Already? You wouldn't be able to give me a lift by any chance, would you? Ah, for crying out. I can't do this. So stiff. Learn to drive! I'm hoping I'm the right way because I totally screwed up. Hey, I, I get right of the way. Seriously, I need to learn to drive. Ah, now I can't reverse. We seriously need to revise our heroes for higher clientele. This should be far enough. If Angie sees me being driven by someone dressed in your attire, she'll ask a lot of questions. Actually, perhaps you and I belong on stage. What with you in that outfit and my ventriloquism act? Actually, forget I said that. That is so rude! Red Shield. Nope, I got Tony, thank God. Beep, 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 beep. Wait, I've already done this. Never mind. The 
Captain America adventure program? <sighs> I never enjoyed those old Captain America radio shows. I mean, really, who writes such rubbish? But when I hear them now, they seem to make me feel strangely nostalgic. There is, however, one particular character I'm not such a great fan of. Hey. Nurse Betty Carver. Can you believe that? They've changed my name and put me in their silly little radio show. It's completely disrespectful to the actual Captain America. Someone really ought to be doing something about this. Um, what am I doing? Good thing I can run up fly apples, whatever. Um, so what am I meant to do? I can't do it. I really don't like the program, but I suppose if it cheers other people up and they enjoy it, then who am I to judge? I just hope that someday the real story of Captain Steve Rogers can be told, preferably without a damsel in distress. I'll do it for you. I've got no problem doing it. Fine, I won't do it then. All right, there we go. In times of crisis, it helps to keep a level head. That guy seems to be very stuck. Seems... Steve Rogers guy looks an awful lot like the skin. Ready for another adventure? All right, but you must focus. Please, focus. Oh, sorry. I forgot. I'm not a big fan of that particular phrase for some reason. I read some Iron Man. Why are all these people fighting each other? Best guess, Dr. Fenhoff and Dottie Underwood discarded some midnight oil in this area. We need to find a way to calm everyone down before it's too late. Beat them up! Oh, fine. We'll do this the unfun way. I 
That's one. Oh, wait. That's one now. I just beat them up. Makes things so much easier. I'm stuck. Actually, I really am stuck. I don't know. It would appear that dancing isn't this group's greatest skill. Thank you for all your help, and always remember to know your value. Anyone else's opinion doesn't really matter. That is so true. that is for this episode join us next time as we go do more free roam and probably save stan lee or try to don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you next time